Well, today is Saturday morning. It's about 9 a.m. And I got my flag at the Rohirrim flying, which you know I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, a big Tolkien fan. Got a lot of his books. And uh, yeah, it's, it's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah, Celsius, I'm not sure, maybe negative eight, I think, for about 28 degrees, something like that. And we're gonna be shooting with a new Osmos, the DJI Osmos Action 4 today. I also wanted to show you what I use for my mount. I don't use like a regular windshield mount, but I do if I'm using the GoPro. I was telling you about that. But I also use this a lot right here. It's a silicone based, so it's kind of naturally sticky to the top of your uh, dash. It's easy to mount your stuff, and that's where I put my phone most of the time for my GPS, but also when I'm filming the road, that's what it's on right there. So, um, it's no stuff you have to worry about, you know, putting in your windshield and blocking your vision, your sight. You just slap that on there and that stays really well. It doesn't move at all. And there's my 66 Mustang. Got to get her out in warmer weather get her all covered up for the winter time. And uh, yeah, we'll get her out hopefully this summer. So today, I'm taking you to a cool place. I like going. I brought you here before. I'll have links to the other videos, but it's street side classic cars. Yeah, we're gonna go inside and see what the inventory is like. Last time we were here, um, it was like four months ago. So I like to come quarterly to see all their wonderful cars and see what they have new. So let's go. So here is the entrance way to Streetside Classics, and they have classic cars here. Um, looks like they added another sign. Looks like it has a Shelby Mustang uh, Cobra up there at the top, and it says classic cars too. But yeah, it's pretty much this is all the way down this entire building. They have another sign down there too, but I think that's a different. It's like inside racing go karts, I think, down there. So, but yeah, let's go inside and see what they have. So they don't just carry classics and they do have newer cars like this 2015 nissan gtr and that's 92,000 right here check that out but look at all these beautiful cars right here just in the showroom alone there's that gtr right there look at this barracuda and he's going for 79 so 80,000 for him he's a 70 plymouth barracuda grand coupe and check out the mustang here that's really nice let's see how much he's going for it's a 68 right here, and that is a 200,000 for this one. Let's get a shot of the inside. Look, look at that Barracuda, too. Look at that. Wow, that is nice. Let's get a whole shot of this. Look at that. And then here is the Barracuda right here. It's a 383. Get a shot of the inside. Of course, we're going to go in the showroom in just a second. There you go. And the staff is here hard at work so be sure to phone them if you're interested in a car they're over here uh, ready to serve you and I'll show you around too if you come into the showroom and if you're looking for certain things or a certain car they're probably going to have it here but uh love that purple on that barracuda and look at this right here this is beautiful um <laughs> i mean all the cars are beautiful in here yeah man and you can spend the day here looking at all these cars Let's see this guy right here. He's featured too. And that's a 73 Plymouth Cuda Hemi Tribute. Look at the inside. Oh, it's beautiful. And look at the engine right here. Nice. And these are show ready. Most all of these are pretty much show ready to go. And here's a Thunderbird. One of Connie's other favorite cars is the Thunderbird. And that one's 250,000. That's a 57. Ford Thunderbird and check out this classic I know a few people would love that some other youtubers and they have plenty of pickup trucks he's 70,000 for this one and that's a Chevy C10 1972 nice I'm gonna try to give you the prices too most of the ones we're looking at um, but here you go love that blue there's the inside right here look at the bed beautiful I wouldn't want to put anything in there, that's for sure. Because yeah, these are like top notch. All the vets right here. All the, mostly Chevrolets on this row. So 
And I think they have them categorized. Look at Chevy, Fords. Look at this guy right here. Oh, that's nice. Check him out. It's a Ford Torino. It's a 70. He's got a 429 Super Cobra Jet in it. He's pretty much three speed. Look at that. And that one going, this one's going for like, I think 90. I'll double check that for you. Look at that. And inside, beautiful. Good looking car. Yeah, let me double check the price. Yeah, he's 90. Love that. And that is a 66 right there. It's a C10. And he's going for 40,000. Chevrolet right here. And that is a Blazer. It's a 72. And he's going for 66. So 67, 7,000. Nice. Look at the shot on the inside of this one. Look at that engine. Holy moly. He's huge. And uh, here's the inside. Look at that. Oh, this is easy, sexy. Love that. Put the cargo space back there and seating for more friends to join you. Yeah, and, and they get new stuff in all the time and they go out quick. They have a lot of quick sales too, man. Because that's such a great selection. Look at Bumblebee here. <laughs> it is Bumblebee. Holy moly, look. Yeah, that's the Transformer edition right here, the SS. Yeah, there it is, the 2010. He's 38,000. So, yeah, this is the Bumblebee. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see it in film. It says Transformers on the hood. I don't know if you can make that out, but. And that is beautiful. Oh, look at this guy. We'll take a look at him in a second, but I want to see the inside. Right here. Yeah. Your Bumblebee. Oh, look at the embroidery right there on the console. That is so cool. Plymouth here. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a 73 Cuda in the inside. Let me back out. Oh, that's a beautiful blue, too. And he is 60,000. Oh, so nice. Oh, this one sold. A little custom here. Pick up. Look at that. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely a custom. Look at that engine. Man. And again, you can find these online. I'll have a link to the site. So you can see like a virtual showroom. And get a, you know, break down the prices and the, all this information here on the actual vehicle. So you can see that online. It's pretty small on video. So here's the inside. So he sold. He gone. <laughs> it's a good looking truck. Good looking truck. Man. Like I said, I, I, there's no way I'm going to show you all these cars. So, but you get an idea of each one. Look at this guy right here. It's SS 427 Chevelle. And he's going for 84000 It's a 66. Look at that inside. Nice. Yeah, that's a good looking car. And most of these, of course, are as is showroom ready or car show ready beautiful and they got a Pontiac GTO right here look at that one convertible oh that's beautiful you get a shot of the inside look at the interior of the upholstery with the Pontiac symbol on there very nice you got he's beeping the horn they're doing a test on a vehicle right now get some pictures done to show it online let me back up so you get a full shot of that. Look at that. I love the color of this one, the dark blue. It's like a, it's not a black, it's like a navy blue and the white top. Very nice. And they got a thing here. <laughs> so awesome. Look at that motor. This one is a Le Mans GTO and it's a 1965 Pontiac and he's going for 63000 This one right here, the sharp car. Got a 911 here. I think it's a boxer right next to it. I believe so, isn't it? That's a Cayman. Okay. Cayman S. It's a 2011 for 45, but this, not 11, this is a sharp one. It's kind of a champagne color. Let me see how much he's going for. 67,000. It's a 1984. I had a friend I went to school with. He had a blue one. It's 
spoil rotten. Well, spoil rotten kids, you know. But he took me around and it was awesome. <laughs> so, oh, check this out. Now this, I love this Ford right here. Station wagon. I think, I can't remember if my parents had one. It's a 64 Falcon wagon. And he is 47,000. You can shot the inside. Look at that. Nice. They're ready to go on a vacation to the beach or wherever. Yeah, and get that rack up there too. I love that rack. And check the paneling out on the side. Yeah, there's your thing. Yeah, these guys are rolling in today. Get their picture taken, it looks like. Look at this guy over here. He's getting the shots of it. Got a 496 and that blower on there as well. Wow, that's ready. That, that's like drag ready right there. Let's get some cool shots of it. That's nice. And you got this beautiful Jeep right here as well. Oh, it's a Land Cruiser. Not a Jeep. Yeah, it's a FJ40 and he's 45,000 for this guy. And that is a 83 right here. The inside. Oh, this is sharp. Always like that back seating area, too. Yeah, you're ready to go on a safari with that one. Turn around here. So, you get the Mustang here. Got the MGB right here. And another beautiful uh, pickup truck over here. Chevrolet right there. And it says ready. It's getting ready to uh, be looked at. I guess inspection and stuff to be sold. Look at that. And that was the one in the uh, Corvette, I think. Not seeing any details. It says awaiting pricing. So look at that. Um, <laughs> and right here it says Apache. So I'm guessing it's Apache 31 Chevrolet. So I'm guessing Cameo is, is just they have those different names from the Apache. So I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong. And the bed's not in there. So and there's the gas tank right here. But this is nice. I love the uh, the rear and the front windshield kind of where it kind of bends over like that. That's I just love that. Look the inside. Gorgeous. And I'm just doing one long shot of these. So this is a 90 Blazer. That's a, that one's 38,000 for him. It's a 1990 Blazer. And trust me, there's certain cars that look a lot alike, like the Blazer and the Bronco. They do. To me, they do. Um, and look at this guy. Oh, wow. This is a 1954 Dodge M37 Power Wagon. And it's for 35000 And this, if you want to go off-road in the ruggedness of this, look at the inside. Yeah, shot there. Get a machine gun mount <laughs> at the top. That's wild. Love it. There it is. Let me get a shot of it over here. So yeah, they they uh, they've had like the military Humvees in here for sale, and uh, we might see one or two in here. Look at that, it's beautiful. Let's see. This one is a '66 Mercury Comet convertible, and that one's twenty-seven thousand. And like I said, for some of these are very reasonable and showroom ready or. If you're ready to take it to a car show, the V8 Comet in here you go. Convertible. Oh, that's nice. Now, right now, I'm shooting this with my Action 4 uh, Osmos. And uh, I've been on 2K right now. So, because I want to see how well it does as far as bringing the details out of these vehicles. Look at these guys. Nice selection right here of pickups. And this is nice right here. Pontiac Grand's a Grand Prix. Yeah. And that one's a 62. Let me walk around the other side. Get a better shot of the in, inside of it. I love how they have the mirrors on the side right here on the hood. That's so cool. Look at that. I love the, look at the red walls. Let's get the 421 in there. That is so beautiful. Let's get the inside. Love the upholstery in here too. There you go. Nice. So we're walking around some more. And see a lot more cars. Oh, look at all these. Look at that Cobra right there. And along here, they have all, a lot of the trucks and the Jeeps are located in the back, mostly, anyway. And this 1960 Chevrolet Corvette, it is sold. 
and it sold for a hundred and three thousand look how beautiful that is wow that's amazing love the color too let me go over here i love the beige top as well let's get the the white down here which i love how they do the paint jobs on these here's the inside look at that that is custom custom yeah look at that with the, the beige the tan and the yellow yeah the color coordinating on this is amazing did a great job back up here get a shot of it yeah that one sold 103,000. i'm originally from florida and when i was a kid i remember these were these were, were sexy cars and they still are the old rivieras the buicks yeah, the, I remember a lot of people drove these down in Florida back in the day. And look at this one. This is so nice. The inside right here. I'll get a, I'll get a shot of the front too, but look at the interior here. That's beautiful. Yeah, I remember so many Rivieras in Florida <laughs> growing up. Here's the front. Yeah, that's a sexy car right there. Let me see how much he is. And what year is this one? Uh, 68. Yep, Riviera GS. 30,000. That's actually not bad. And uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love that one. Now, this is a 1970 Ford Torino GT. We saw one earlier. This one's really nice, but I don't see a price on it at all. But uh, look at this. Love that paint job. That's a beautiful car. I just mainly I want you to walk around with me and just enjoy the cars, what you're seeing. Probably brings back some memories of these cars, or you owned one a while ago and wish you still had it. <laughs> so, there's the inside. Yeah, I know a lot of my friends who've had certain classics. Yeah, they've always wished they didn't sell it or trade it in. Yeah, people here looking around to get a new toy. Now, when you get online, you'll probably see the picture of the car here as well. Uh, when you look it up, this is 66 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu, and this one's 35,995, so 36,000. And again, beautiful. Let me back up, we'll go around the other side, the driver's side, get a shot of the inside. That's immaculate. Nice, get 350 in there. Look at that. Could be bigger, I don't know, but that's beautiful. And uh, I'll get a shot of the inside here right next to that Riviera that we looked at a few minutes ago look at the inside it's beautiful here's the back seat over here yeah good looking car it's got a kind of a metallic yeah kind of sparkly blue on there love that and the white and the blue it's got that pinstripe right here as well back up get a shot of the back of it yeah Malibu I love the old Classic symbols on the back. Nice. Big trunk. The next to it is a Super Sport. Chevrolet SS right here. Get a shot of the inside and the front. Let's see how much he's going for. Nice. I love that red. It's sharp. Very sharp. Love that hood. Oops, I'm starting up the car. Oh, I think he's moving that, uh, that car we saw earlier and getting the pictures taken. Here's the front of it here. And this one is a uh, 66. 502. And he's 104,000. Yeah. Man, that's beautiful. And a good chunk of these cars, of course, they're on consignment sales is here from other collectors and selling. And a lot of times they'll sell a car to get another car, of course. And, or they have another project. I love cars like this. This Chevrolet right here. This is really nice. I drive that every day too. And that's an Impala SS. That's a 62. And he's going for a 70, or sorry, 68. So 667995, but 68. There's the inside. Love that. Nice. Look over here and get a shot of the back. Yeah, that's a good looking car. But all these, look at all these. <laughs> There's so many. All right, I'm going to walk around some more. And there's another, the other side is, other side of that wall over there are more cars. Now, I had to get a shot of this Jeep. This is a Cherokee right here. It's a 1974. He's 23000 Not a bad price. 
considering the shape it's in. It's in great shape. Look at this. I love the color. Four-wheel drive. Good looking. Hit the rack at the top. Nice interior there. Very nice. Not sure. Looks like the door panels. Yeah, they're down there in the back seat for the front door. Looks like they're doing a little bit of work on it. Getting there all set up. Get ready for, for sale. And get the back of it here. A lot of storage. Quadra track. Four wheel drive. Got the hitch and everything. Yeah, I love the, uh, the color on this, on this Jeep. Yeah, that's classic right there. Now, here's one good looking car. It's a 71 Pontiac GTO Judge. There's a picture of it here. And he's going for 50,000. Here's the inside. Wow, beautiful. Let me back up. Get a better shot of it. Love that hood, too. Man, that's nice. Let's see if I try to get a shot at the back of it. One good looking judge right here. And there's the back of that beautiful GTO. Nice. And here is an 83 Z28 Camaro convertible. Let's see how much he's going for. He's only going for 11,000. Nice. Turn around here. That'd be fun to drive around with the top down. That's for sure. So they get like some 80s and 90s, early 90s Camaros in stock as well. Let me walk down here and show you these. We're just going to walk down. I'll do some music and you can dance, whatever you want to do, and enjoy some of these cars.
Now this car right here stuck out to me big time. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ron Howard's car in uh, American Graffiti. I'm not sure if he was a Ford Fairlane. It may have been a Buick. I can't remember. I could be completely wrong. Or it could have been Cindy Williams' car that she had. Uh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was Cindy Williams. You know, her character in American Graffiti. She drove something like this as well. And it's a 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 Club Victoria. And yeah, $30,000. Not bad at all. Let me get a shot of the inside. There you go. That is really nice. There's the back. Lots of room. Get a shot of the entire car. Let me back up here. So you can see it. Doesn't that look like that's the car that uh, either Cindy Williams drove in the movie or Ron Howard did in his. Maybe more of the Cindy Williams version of her car. Yeah, it's a Fairlane 500. I always love the flares in the back. The wings. That's so cool. It's like jet engines. Yeah, I'm, I really like this. It's a great price, too. It's only uh, $30,000. 57, 1957 Ford Fairlane. Now, this one's a 1928 Ford Model A Roadster pickup truck. And it's $25.95. Now, uh, in front of mine, uh, he likes the old pickup trucks. Now, if he wants an old pickup truck, a classic, here you go. And it's only it's only $26,000. And, yeah, I just... I, won't, I usually don't mention people's names, but I know Adam. He knows that you know i watch his videos and he's always talking about a classic pickup truck well there you go look at this guy <laughs> wouldn't you like to be that'd be cool to drive around that would just be awesome yeah this is great this is so cool yeah that's classic i need to bring him here if he ever comes to charlotte again i need to bring adam here because he would flip out in this place um it's like a car show it's like it's a permanent car show here's the inside here yeah so if you hear me adam we're, I'm, I'm taking you here uh, if you ever come back to Charlotte, you're going to come to uh, Streetside Classics and check out all the pickup trucks. <laughs> Not just pickups. All these beautiful cars. Look at all that. This is so nice. People out here shopping. Or they're just looking like I am. Yeah, I, can't, I can't afford any of these cars. Well, not now anyway. And they do still have the Hertz rent a car GT350 Mustang right here. These are amazing. I'll have a link. You can look up the history of these cars. They were Hertz rental cars. Can you imagine renting this <laughs> back in the day? And he's uh, 70,000, 1965 Mustang. It's a Shelby. But like I said, can you imagine renting one of these and driving it? Man, beautiful. I always love that black and gold, you know, the Hertz colors, Hertz rental car colors. That's nice right there. Beautiful. Yeah, that is so sharp. And I love this red one right next to it. Right here. You see how much he is. He's beautiful, too. But one of my dream cars. Get one of these. I always, I always love the fastbacks. Nice. Yeah, let me see how much he is. That's pristine. Oh, awaiting pricing. So he hasn't been priced yet. So I can only imagine he probably has much as the Hearst, of course. Look at that. Turn over here. They have all sorts of cars, not just your American classics. You get Maseratis here, Alfa Romeos. Yeah, just really nice, beautiful cars. There's an MG right here. And check this Austin Healey out. It's one of my dad's favorite cars. He loved the Austin Healey. He never had one, but he had the MGB that he drove around in Florida quite a bit. And this one, Austin Healey, is the 3000 Mark II, the 1962. And he's 52,000. Get the inside here. Yeah, these little guys are fun to drive. Those little convertibles. Got a little seat back here. Throw the kids back there. Go to the beach. <laughs> so yeah, really nice. And next to it, let me get a shot of this. And you get pickup trucks here too. They do have the pickup trucks. More modern. And this guy here, here's your MG right here. Very nice. Hard top. And that's the MG B B G T 1973. Very nice. Get the inside here. Yeah, so they, they definitely have a lot lot more inventory. A lot of new stuff. And over here, along here, you get all these beautiful Volkswagen bugs. And I had a, I had a 1970 bug. I used to drive to school, high school, back in the 80s. Look at these guys. These are nice. Another MG right here. 
great. Now here's a car you don't see much of is the Nash. This is a convertible, a little two-door right here. And they were out of Wisconsin, from what I remember. And uh, see how much he is. If you ever watched the movie Diner, I think there was this big guy at the diner. He, I mean, he was huge. He was a big dude. And he uh, drove this little car. He drove a Nash. Um, here it is right here. And it's a 1955 Nash Metropolitan Series 1. And he's going for 27, so 28,000. Here's the inside. Yeah, but I think they're out of Wisconsin originally. But um, I'll get a spare tire back here. It's nice. The trunk. Very cool. And check out that Harley Davidson. I think that may have been here last time uh, we were here. This uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle truck. I think it was. But um, we're heading back here. Here's another blazer right here. Yeah, look at him. He's got, he's way up there. Going down here. Got a hot rod next to me too. He's been here too. Inside. Very nice. Yeah, here's a hot rod. A little rat rod. That's so cool. And that's a Dodge. Pickup, 1946. He's rotted out big time. Oh, let me go around here. Yeah, old Blazer right here. K6, I think is what it says. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Another beautiful Thunderbird right here. From, yeah, nice. Let me get inside here. Take a look. See what he's going for. It's 1957. Thunderbird's another one. 104. So 105,000 for him the engine go around here yeah that's nice I love the colors on that one we get a shot of the driver's side yeah that's beautiful and this one's a 1953 Chrysler New Yorker Deluxe 35,000 that's not bad at all look at the inside that looks comfy in there Love the dash and that steering wheel is pretty cool. Here's the back seats, plenty of room. And of course, your trunk is huge. Convertible. I love to drive this around. This convertible. Yeah, look at that. So nice. Got a Ford next to it right here. It's a 1940 Deluxe Street Surf or 37.9. Five. That's so cool. But yeah, that's a good looking car. And here's another classic. Look at this one. C10 right here. Isn't that beautiful? Let me go around here and see how much he is. Get a shot inside. Yeah, C10 Chevrolet. Very cool. He is a 1969 and it's only $19,95 to $20,000 for him. That's a sharp pickup truck. There's the inside. Very basic, easy to drive, get you where you're going. And also carry tons of stuff if you want to put stuff in the back. I don't know if I would. It's, it's too pretty. Put stuff in the back now. <laughs> or put a nice, you know, uh, cover down here to protect it. That'd be good. We get another. Here's a custom right here. And that's a, also, let's see, that's a CST 10. So that's beautiful right here. That's a showroom ready. Or, again, <laughs> uh, go to your car show and show these off. He's 75, though. He's a, he, he did a little bit more. He's 1970 also. So, yeah, he, he's a little bit more in that blue one over here. But, uh, yeah, if you want a practical, just a simple, nice, original truck, here you go. If you want a rotted out, has a 396 in it, Chevrolet pickup truck, you go for this one right here.
yeah, I don't want you to see much of me because I want you to see the cars. You, you don't want to look at me. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of fun coming here. And I always love seeing the inventory that they have and the new cars, well, new old cars. And I try to make it every four months, qu quarterly, to see what they have and bring you here with me. And a lot of great stuff is here. The last time I was here, I think Connie was with me. And that may have been, been pretty soon. So it may have been right at the beginning of October is the last time we were here. Check out some of my other videos on the vintage cars and car shows, stuff like that. But we'll walk around and continue our journey to look at these beautiful cars. Now this is classic right here. It's only $20,000. This one's a 57 Chevrolet uh, 3100. Isn't that cool? Look at that one. That is awesome. You go over here, we'll get a shot of the inside. A little close right here. <laughs> that tight squeeze. Get the old inspection sticker still on it. Go over here. Here's the inside. That'd be kind of cool to drive around in, that's for sure. Oh, it's got an old CB radio in there as well. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Back up here. There's your gas tank. Here's the bed back here. Nice. Get a back shot of it. That'd be fun to drive around. Yeah, 1957 right here. Now, this is definitely a military grade truck, that's for sure. It's been painted yellow, I can imagine it green at one time. It's got a little Playboy symbol on the door. Right here. <laughs> but uh, let me get a shot of the inside. Oh, that's pretty much still original. It says, waiting, basic detail. So there's some of the military um, plaques right here about the truck itself. Probably could see more over there. Yeah, let me walk over there and check that out. So I looked inside, let me show you, I looked inside down the, the plaque here and i have my light on and everything but it says manufactured by it doesn't show i'm not, maybe it's a maybe it's a ford i could be completely wrong if you know what the manufacturer is of this please comment on it i do see another placard over here let me see what that is rhino lining no so doesn't tell me anything but here's the back you can carry some troops right there but that, that's pretty cool. I do like this. Great for parades. You put all kinds of Christmas lights on it. And uh, have your folks in the back throwing candy in the parade or whatever. Put a Christmas tree back there. <laughs> that thing is pretty cool though. Now I found this 1954 Chevrolet 3100 uh, back here in the back. It says, get that patina <laughs> going on, which it does. But look at this. It's got new... Uh, mirrors on the side right here yeah and look at the, check out the, the chrome wheels and uh would you consider that a, a rat rod maybe but that's the chevrolet loadmaster 1954 get a shot of the back i'm gonna shot of the inside too yeah a little bit newer inside that looks nice and here's the bed oh i, I love the bed with the wood i love when they do that it's a whole chevrolet you go around here nice and right next to it is a prospector in this that's a dodge ram prospector right here very cool let me go around and see how much that one is okay it's a 1985 dodge d100 prospector 4x4 and that one's 32,000. and here it is i love the suspension on there too it's got really nice suspension let me go around here can't see the inside kind of a tight squeeze with these side mirrors there you go but yeah <laughs> could squeeze through the side mirrors there but yeah there's your dodge right here so like i said they got everything here including this old ford right here and that's uh f-150 xlt lariat that's nice that's a fun drive, very dependable car or truck. I got a lot of friends who have the F-150. I had one too years ago. I had a 78 F-150 that uh, they, my, uh, I think my mom picked it up at an auction um, years ago. Really dirt cheap, but the thing drove great. It was like a either a three-speed or a four-speed uh, 78 F-150. So it was a fun truck. And actually, it's still in service. Somebody bought it for uh, 
a farm here in North Carolina and they used it on there for years and years after we sold it to him but yeah that's what happened to it went out and work on a farm and, and he had it for a long time I think he probably still has it but that's where it went to check out that right there that's nice and that one is a Chevy Cheyenne right here you got the 350 in it see how much he is oh I love this one too another custom right here but the Chevy Cheyenne C10 it's a 1972 and he's going for 30. Just shot the inside. Oh, that's nice. Been upgraded a little bit. It's got the protective coating here on the bed. This one does too. Right here. And this one is a custom 10 Chevrolet. I love the color. The paint job on here is beautiful on this one. Nice. Go over here. And that's a 72. Hit 383. Very nice, and he's 50,000. A lot of work's been put in this one, that's for sure. Yeah, look at this guy. Here's a rat rod right here. I love the rivets on the side. That's pretty cool. And that is a 63 step side Chevrolet for 25. That is so now that's a cool rat rod right here. Look at that. Now I love that. Here's the bed back here. Very nice. Yeah, let's get that patina. Rusty looking patina on it. <laughs> intentionally done of course now this looks real though and they kind of left it and they put a nice protective coating on it so it won't uh, deteriorate any more than it has I could be wrong that could be a newer hood and because I know they have those chemicals you can put on stuff and like metals and make it look really old and rusted but I mean it, it, yeah, that's a great job if that's what they did but I also like that it could be a, it could be the original rust job who knows but this is a beautiful beautiful rat rod now, Connie would love this one. This is a Bel Air right here. Two-door Chevrolet. I love the paint job. Get a shot of the inside. Very nice. Here's the back. Oh, this is great looking. Let's see how much he is. This is a 55 Bel Air with a 454. And he's 90,000. But, yeah, look at that. Yes, a good looking Bel Air right there. And before we finish, I want to get a shot of this Leroy Johnson's Reengineering Salvage and Ninsome. There's a phone number down there. <laughs> I guess that's a phone number. You can check out that. I don't know if that's a turkey. Maybe it is. He's been kind of worn out. Isn't that cool though? It's um, not for sale just yet. It's waiting for inspection. Then they'll price it. Yeah, get that, get that engine in there. Isn't that cool? That Mopar. Nice. So yeah, I wanted to get this shot of this before we left. Kind of my last car. Check the wheels out. Those look awesome. Rusty Rooster. Yeah, there he is right there, Grandpa. Your Grandpa right there. And uh, also, don't forget to support your local moonshiners. Yeah, here's the inside. I could see this hauling some moonshine back in the day. That's for sure. Nice, we got a big old back seat. Fill that up with moonshine. You get trunk back here too. Oh, that's nice. So it's Chrysler right there. There it is. So yeah, if you're interested, you get an old moonshiner. He's right here. Beautiful. Pan around here one last time. And again, every quarterly is when I like to come here. 
and check out all our cars and see what is new. So I hope you enjoyed that. Had a good time taking you around. Well, thanks for joining me here at Streetside Classic Cars here in Charlotte. It's actually not too far from Concord Mills. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun seeing the cars again. And I just, it's like a museum in here. I just love walking around here, looking at these beautiful cars. I hope you enjoy the tour too. If you can ever make it here, try and come here and see these cars. You might see something, again, that reminds you of your past or a car you may have had at one time. It's just also the nostalgia of it. And if you have that extra money laying around, you can pick up a car while you're here. <laughs> so, but yeah, there'll be car shows here during the summertime. We'll be sure to hit those as well. So I wanted to let you see all these wonderful cars. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you want to, hit the notification bell, and that will tell you if I get something new posting. All right, guys, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.